The idea of having a nice test setup never crossed my mind until I actually started to work from home and became interested in uh, building my own space. Then around two years later, this is where I'm at. And uh, to be honest, I couldn't be happier. Let me start with the foundation of any setup. The desk I'm using is the IKEA Anfalare. I'm not sure how you pronounce that name, and I hope I'm not butchering it, but this is a really nice desk from IKEA. I don't remember the price exactly. I'm gonna put it somewhere around here. Uh, not very expensive. According to IKEA, it's made out of bamboo, 55 uh, inches in length by 25 inches in deep. Um, it gives me an, enough space for all the things I can possibly need on my setup. Then to the left side of my desk, I have an Alex drawer unit. It was a very welcome addition to my setup. Uh, I used it to house all of the items I could use every day or every other day, but don't necessarily need to have on my desk taking up space. The main monitor I am using is an LG 34 inch ultra wide. It is an IPS curved panel. It is 3440 by 1440p. Um, in my opinion, perfect resolution. Um, and it's 144 hertz as well. The monitor is great for work. It allows me to have easily two windows side by side at work. And granted, I still use a 16 by nine monitor. This other monitor is from a brand, budget brand called Pixio. This is the PX248 Prime, if I am not mistaken. Also a nice monitor for on its own is 1080p, 24 inches, uh, 144 hertz, but it comes really clutch. It's nice, really, really nice having two monitors. And talking about the monitors and how I have them stacked, I use two monitor arms separately. I don't have it on a, on a single arm. So for the ultra wide monitor, I have a heavy duty gas spring arm that I got from Amazon. Really nice arm, really sturdy, um, and it wasn't very expensive for what it was. It was like $70, I believe. And for the second monitor, I have it on a budget, tall monitor arm. I decided not to go with them side by side, first because of the space, but second of all, I find it more comfortable to actually use stack monitors. Some people believe that you will get a lot of neck strain having stack monitors. That is highly subjective. I believe that would depend a lot on how you sit. Uh, I mean, how far you sit from your monitors, as well as how you have them line up with your uh, line of sight. I think no setup is really complete without proper lighting. For my setup, I use two different lights. I use some light bars I got from Govi behind my top monitor. And then for my other light, I have a monitor light bar on top of my top monitor. This is a Xiaomi monitor light bar. It really reduce, helps reduce eye strain if I am for some reason working at late night. Then uh, to the right side of it, both monitors, I have a flexible arm where my webcam is mounted. The webcam I'm using is an Anchor C200 webcam. Really budget, uh, nothing crazy. I mainly just use it for that occasional uh, work phone call where I need to turn my camera on. But it's a really nice webcam overall. I wouldn't recommend it if you are streaming or anything like that, uh, but for work, um, it's perfect. Now let's talk about what easily one of my favorite pieces of my setup, which is my custom keyboard. The custom keyboard I'm using is a QK65. Let me tell you the keyboard hobby is a really deep rabbit hole. Things can get real expensive really fast, but for now I'm pretty happy with my QK65. I've made a quick overview of this keyboard on my, here on my channel um, in case you want to check it out. So the mouse I'm currently using is the Razer Orochi uh, V2. Really nice mouse overall, uh, pretty small, and I mainly use fingertip or claw grip or relax claw and I got this on an impulse by thinking that it would have made me better at competitive shooters just don't do that you will not get better at competitive shooters if you suck already by getting a better mouse trust me I tried I have both keyboard and mouse resting on this uh, minify desk mat I get this one from uh, space cables it's nothing crazy it's a cloth desk mat it's not a 
game in matte by any means so uh, it's more of an aesthetic piece than anything else uh but it works fine i enjoy shooters but i am not a very competitive gamer i may try a uh, different game in desk mats or desk pads down the line uh, but for now this is fine for audio i'm using a pair of presonus aries 3.5 speakers they're not end game speakers or anything but they sound fine to me for a hundred dollars really good speakers overall i use them mainly just to listen to music while i'm focused working and if i'm tired of using my headphones uh while gaming if i'm not of course gaming in a competitive shooter I would switch to my speakers as well. For my headset, the one I'm currently using is the PC37X from Sennheiser and Drop. I got this uh, headset about, I wanna say almost two years ago. These are really good for the money. I got them for like $99. I seem them go as low as $70 as well from Drop. Uh, there is another version, a more updated one, the PC38X. According to a lot of reviewers, better than this ones uh, really i have no need to upgrade right now these are comfortable they sound good they got a decent mic for uh, calls or chatting with your friends this were a huge upgrade from my cheapo ten dollar headsets i got a few years back i may try audiophile headphones down the line uh, but for now these are perfect um and i'll see if i enjoy something else later down the line then the PC that's powering my setup is a custom built PC. I've built it back then with a Ryzen 2700 and an NVIDIA GTX 1650 Super. But then I, when I upgraded my monitor, I also upgraded my graphics card to the uh, AMD Radeon RS 6800 XT. To me, it's the perfect graphics card for 1440p ultra-wide gaming. I cannot recommend that enough. As for the rest of the accessories I have on my setup, I have a wireless charger for my phone. This was gifted to me. So I don't really know what the brand is. Uh, but I can recommend any wireless charger for that matter. It's a really nice accessory to have. Then next to it, I recently bought myself a charger stand for my that charges my Apple Watch and my AirPods at the same time. Again, really nice accessory. In the evening when I'm done working or gaming, I'll just drop my watch on it. Don't have to play around with the cable trying to make sure uh, that the magnet stays in place. I just drop it in and that's it. Uh, and then next to the Apple Watch charging stand, I have uh, an Xbox controller. Again, typically used for games I would use a controller for. And that controller is also sitting on a Razer charging dock that also serves as a stand. Really nice, really clutch. I don't have to worry about battery ever. Uh, I just, whenever I'm done gaming, I just drop it on the stand and the controller will automatically charge. Then lastly, I have a USB KVM switch. I use that to switch my peripherals from my laptop to my gaming PC and vice versa. Connected to it, I have my headset, my speakers, uh, my webcam, as well as my keyboard. It is very convenient uh, switching all of your peripherals between two PCs if you have two PCs with just the click of a button. Um, I don't have to mess around with having two sets of peripherals or uh, connecting and disconnecting stuff. Uh, just push a button and things go from one PC to the other. And that's it. That is my setup. Now that I didn't put this together from one day to the other, uh, this took time, roughly about two years, but I can tell you it was very much worth it. It is very inspiring just having a space uh, that you can call your own and be happy with that space and be comfortable working on that space. I think that's very important and something that a lot of people overlook, right? If you're watching this video, you're probably not overlooking your setup and I appreciate you for being here. I hope that you found some inspiration on this video for your own setup. If you wanna know more about any of the items I have on my setup, leave me a comment down below and I will do my best to reply to you. Leave a like if you liked it and catch you on the next one. Peace.